good candidate for DBS would be somebody who has symptoms that's not responding to medicine. Essential tremor patients, their shaking isn't responding to medication and they're disabled by their tremor. A Parkinson's patient that would be great for DBS, they're on several medications and the medications are either wearing off and not lasting or they're not working as well as they need to. In the past, there weren't a lot of great treatment options for patients with movement disorders like Parkinson's disease. Some of the first treatments were actually surgical. There's been a shift in the field to doing neurostimulation. Deep brain stimulation is similar to a cardiac pacemaker, where a cardiac pacemaker can help reestablish a normal heartbeat. A deep brain stimulation device can help reestablish normal brain circuitry. Oftentimes, when we turn it on in the clinic, there's tears, especially for someone who hasn't been able to drink a cup of water. People who have lost the ability to write, they can write again. There's so many wonderful success stories with DBS. It can be life-changing. For patients with Parkinson's disease, it can be really a, a, a life-altering event from being dependent upon medications and fluctuations in their ability to move to having a more smooth course uh, and more predictable medication effects. The recovery for DBS is surprisingly short. You would think that a brain surgery would require a lot of recovery, but it really doesn't. They have the probe set in place, and usually they can go home the next day. It's really important for me to um, get a picture of my patients' lives and to understand what's important to them. I think it's very important and something that I've learned the most from is listening to my patients. So not only in the exam room, but I've gone out in the community and, and really kind of tried to get involved in the Parkinson's community. Because it's one thing to examine someone in the room, say, oh, this is your problems, here's your medication. It's another thing to really see people out in the wild, see how humiliating it is when your legs can't move and people are watching you. Or with someone struggling to drink a glass of tea at the table, it really, makes you feel humble and honored to be a doctor for them.